quick little video. So I got an email from a mom, a 50 year old mom. And uh, I guess the kids have uh, left the nest. And she's wondering if she can get a job in tech. So she's working hard now, learning the stuff. Um, she has a concern though. She says, uh, now in my turn, my worry as with others is, will I get hired? Will she get hired as a 50 year old mom who hasn't worked in the, uh, in, in, the, well, in the field before? I have two strikes against me, she says. I'm female and older. No. Being female in tech is not a strike against you. That, I don't know how that, uh, that story spreads out there when in fact it's the opposite. Tech companies are looking for women big time because they have mostly men. So they want women because they want a bit of uh, diversity in their workforce. Um, which is actually a good thing to have uh, some of those nerds interact with women maybe a little bit. I think it could bring a different dynamic to the association or to the organization rather. Anyway, so she continues. Um, well, she talked about how she was having difficulty because of COVID caused problems financially. It upturned her whole life. So she says, yes, I, I respond to that rather. Yes, COVID lockdowns has, uh, it has really upended people's lives. But from my perspective, on the bright side, it also has allowed people to expand their horizons, how they view the world, what they can do in lives. In the end, I think you can take this situation, the COVID situation, and the fallout from it, the disruption, disruption of your life, in the end, you can take this as an opportunity, a forceful push perhaps into a new direction. So um, let me tell you, my experience being that I'm 169 years old, in my experience, when you're forced into a situation that could be pretty tough, this is an opportunity to uh, expand uh, your mind, your body, perhaps. Uh, in the end, you look back at this forceful change most of the time as being uh, actually a big positive. From my experience, one of the worst things that can actually happen to you is you get complacent and comfortable. Fortunately or unfortunately, I found myself in that situation when I was pretty young where I didn't have to really work anymore. And I took 10 years off and uh, I drank a lot of coffee, did a lot of brunching, but uh, in the end, I don't know if that was a good thing. After that period of time, I got bored and I started doing new stuff, working on new projects, new businesses. And now, fortunately enough, I just do what I want to do. But yeah, major disruptions in my life, major health problems and so forth had a tremendous positive impact in the end. Like I was quite young and I got a blood disease. So it pushed me out of the traditional route of university and a job, et cetera, and pushed me into a whole different area. And uh, it's been pretty good. Anyhow, so if you uh, want to jump into the tech space, I've been talking about this a lot lately. If you're older, especially... And you think, hmm, I might not get a job. Could be harder to get a job uh, if you have no other experience in any other, any other industry and you want to get into development. It might be a good idea to look at freelance. Now, I'm biased. I think freelancing is the way to go, period, regardless of age. Why? Because it gives you freedom. But you have to have communication skills. You have to be self-motivated. You have to have an ability to execute on structure that you impose upon yourself. This comes with practice. It gets, you get better and better at it. Anyhow, anyhow so uh, don't think that if you're a woman, that is a strike against you. In the tech industry, it's actually a very big positive because they want, a lot of companies want women to come and work for them because it just brings a different new dynamic and any smart operator manager knows that 
having uh, different points of view working in an organization is a good thing. Um, so there you go. So don't give up. Concentrate on the web stack. I would suggest freelance. That's my my go-to, although you can get a job and a lot of people I know do very well working for other people. So that's also an opportunity. Anyway, if you like this type of mentoring, check out my mentoring program. Teach you everything you need to know to get a job or freelance or start a business. All right. Thanks for watching.